Hey YouTube, I'm just here to give you a little bit of inspiration. You know, hopefully you heard that song. Hallelujah, give us inspiration. Ah, uh, you know, the many reasons why we choose to do things out of desperation, out of necessity, out of needs, out of just whatever, you know, driving for Uber, whether you do Uber or Lyft, but you have to really put your heart into this. You know, I don't know if my other video posted about my reasons or why I chose to choose, why I chose to drive for Uber. Now, in the beginning of my quest for driving for Uber, to be honest, it was because it was out of necessity. <clears throat> if you didn't know, I was working for the federal government for ten and a half years for the IRS and was removed from the service center because I was miserable there, you know, and rather than me walking out and resigning on my own to get a clean S at 50. I had went against my own words and my own desires and my own dreams and stayed beyond the 10 years. I said on December 5th was my 10th year anniversary, my 10th year of the service center. And I was called into the office by my manager, the district department manager at the time, about my position. And even though it took them about a few weeks later, beginning of January, to notify me that I was going to be terminated, not suspended for 30 days, not suspended, because, you know, I had other problems or issues previously. And even though, despite of my record, despite of my performance reviews, you know, I've always got very good performance reviews. I mean, I didn't get a perfect five, because they work in a system of a five grading system. But those very few people who may complain about your work or complain about your rating, they should determine your value. The only person who should determine your value is God. God is the one who gives you strength and value and all your needs all you have to do is ask and believe so when I was terminated you know it took six months I would say December January February March April May five months to come down to my tribunal because that's basically what it is they don't just let you go right away. You know, they put you on a limited access of your duties. Your, your, you know, they resort you down to being an operator, which I did for five months. Now, as many times as I looked at that paper and that form to resign, I didn't resign on my own. I knew that I said to myself, I wanted to give 10 years. And when 10 years came on December 5th, and I didn't pull that trigger to say, you know what, here's my 10 years. I want to pursue other things. Here's my resignation. I didn't plan it well. Maybe, you know, if I had saved up six months, seven months of income, which I do have. I did save seven months of income. Or eight months, depending on how you go about spending. But I did have a little stashed away emergency fund. But I had way more money than that. Way more prior to um, buying my house purchasing things for the house and now I'm like wishing if I could turn the clock back just left on my own accord and let it resign and left. I would have had a clean record. I would have had opportunities to even apply for another federal 
kept my record intact. Now, I have to resort to suing them for EEO complaint because I, it was some issues, you know. Don't resort yourself to desperation of staying somewhere, whether it be a job, out of desperation, or staying there because you feel that it's stable. And because, you know, a lot of people, and you know, in my mind, it was like, oh, it's a government job, it's stable, and you know, nothing's guaranteed. Because you don't really have that much control over, you know, when you're working for someone. And I guess that, you know, working for Uber, you know, you're, you're, you know, they say you're partners with Uber. Now, a lot of people have made videos, you know, saying that people are becoming, you know, Uber, making them a slave. And they um, feel that you're not getting a, um, a fair wage. You know, the difference between a wage and making your own income or self-employed or self-contractor versus a W-2 or an employee is that when you work for Uber or whether you do Lyft, you control your destiny. You control when you want to drive, how much you want to drive, um, how much of a hustle do you really want. I don't even like to say hustle when it comes to business. Don't degrade it by calling it a hustle. But, you know, but sometimes you need to speak on the levels of other people, you know. So one thing I have to learn is you can't speak above other people. You have to know your audience. And if some people want to call it a hustle, okay, you call it a hustle. But nevertheless, working or driving, not even working, working your business requires a plan requires some sort of discipline you know it requires all those things it may require that you um, have to realize that you're the ship of your own destiny you're the captain of this of the car you know this is your domain this is your office this is my office <clears throat> you know this is not a job. This is a business. Now, sometimes it may be hard for other people to realize that this is a business and you're an independent contractor. And yes, Uber may have its um, policies because they really have, you know, you're using their platform. All they do is providing the technology you know, that end of it. That's all they do. And I guess when I said that I did Uber because I said, you know what? I'm going to do Uber until I find me another job. And I have to look at it in a different sort of manner. I have to look at it and say, you know what? This is my own business. And I'm a partner with Uber. And if I wanted to make a goal and say, you know what, my goal is to make six, seven, eight hundred dollars a week, then I have to be diligent about doing it. I have to say, you know what, what is it that I have to do to make X amount of money? What is it that I have to do to maximize and be efficient when it comes to doing this? Because this is your own business. So, although in the beginning, the first couple of weeks, I said, you know, I had jumped to do Uber because I was like, oh, I need to make some money. I don't want to um, deplete my savings, and you know, this is this is really my only job. This is my job for now, and I'm not even gonna say a job because a job is just over broke. Now, some people may think that. All the money you're putting in gas, wear, tear your car, and and things like that. Yeah, that's true. You know, things depreciates. Cars don't have value. The minute you drive it off the lot, it loses 